We made it. We made it everybody. Welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're going to be doing something that I'm super excited about but also very nervous about. We're going to be getting my Z31 dyno tuned. So if you've been watching the build series we have an entire mega squirt standalone ECU with custom harness, our custom ignition system, the entire fuel system has been upgraded. Um, just to go over a few things we have 750cc injectors, we have a T3 T4 hybrid turbo, we have a 3 inch exhaust, we have 292 cams, gutted intake manifold, we have a hyper tuned throttle body, we have an intercooler, and we have a bunch of other upgrades that I'm probably forgetting. But um, yeah, this thing's gonna get tuned. Hopefully we're gonna put down some good power. I'm hoping for around 400 at the wheel, but uh, anywhere between 350 and four would be perfectly fine with me. Um, so we're just waiting for the tuner now. We're a little early. Thought I'd go over the car with you guys. Um, in the trunk, I got a few things. Uh, so we got some extra parts, um, spark plugs, clamps, you know, wiring, just in case anything goes wrong or in case something needs to be um, looked at. I got some extras. Uh, I've got a bag full of some tools, stuff that I know uh, will fit um, certain parts of the car, uh, such as like the fuel rails and fuel lines. I have the injector wrenches, uh, sorry, the um, AN wrenches in there and everything. Um, I've got some spare coils. I have some spare fittings. We have some extra oil, some coolant, rags and all that. Um, we have some snacks because this is going to take a few hours, some chairs. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of the necessities for when you're getting your car tuned. So. While we wait for the tuner to get here, I'm just going to go over everything, make sure we're all set. If you haven't noticed, we got our tires on, our nice uh, Koenig Rewinds with the Toyo Proxies back on. We um, finished up our engine bay, we got the cover on, cleaned a few things up. Um, everything's bled and should be set to go. Uh, the car is drivable right now. I was able to drive it kind of around this little complex here uh, pretty easily. It starts up fine. Um, idle's a little high right now. It's kind of, it has to be tuned properly. Um, it's not really idling where I want it to be, but that's to be expected. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys when the tuner gets here and we'll start. Pretty much. So we got the car started up. Um, the tuner is just tuning the idle right now and kind of some of the lower end stuff. Uh, haven't made any pulls yet, but uh, it's sounding pretty smooth and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. You'll hear the engine load up. Oh, you think it's a brake? Yeah. On a good start. 100 horsepower. As long as it doesn't hit the. Look how close the belt is. It's always, it's always been like that. Hold that for a sec. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs>
we're getting there. 227 horsepower. 227 horsepower. 19 torque. 219 torque. And that was about 6,000 RPM, I think. Just under 6,000. Four hundred RPM. Who is it say there? Two twenty-seven, two nineteen. Two nineteen. Hmm. Sorry if it's a little dark, guys, but it's uh, a little hard to talk in there. But we're still doing some early pulls. Uh, we're getting up to about sixty-four hundred RPM, as far as I could see on the screen. We've made about uh, two hundred and thirty something torque, and around the same for horsepower. But everything's going pretty smoothly and uh, no weird noises, and we're going to keep going. Hey guys, it's a little dark and it's a little loud, but we just had an issue with the boost controller. Uh, we weren't getting any boost control. Um, uh, turns out that the solenoid I had was 24 volts. We just swapped it out for a 12 volt one, so uh, we should be good now. So we've been doing a few pulls. We just did a pull with the um, exhaust cutout open and it made around 350 torque and about 320 horsepower. Um, that's about a 20 foot-pound uh, torque increase and 10 horsepower increase just with the valve open. Um, thought you guys would uh, like to see that info, but we're still going. Uh, I, I don't know how far we are in our tuning, how much timing or anything's added, but um, she's making power, she's getting there.
All right, everybody, it's all done. The tuning is complete. It's been a couple days since we uh, last filmed anything. Um, I've just been caught up with a few things and work and whatnot, but I have been driving the car almost every single day and it's been amazing, huge difference. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about it in just a second. Um, again, I apologize for the kind of dark atmosphere that we were in and all the noise. It was just super hard to get any good shots and talk about stuff, but I'm gonna kind of explain some stuff now just to fill you guys in. So if we come back here, I have a printout of the dyno sheet. So this is the final version. Um, we made 600, oh, sorry, 600, 364 horsepower and 389 pound-feet at 19 and a half PSI. So you can see this is our torque up here and this is our horsepower. Um, so one thing to note about this graph is this is the um, power numbers with the exhaust cutout valve open. So with it closed, it kind of restricts it a bit more because it has to go through the catalytic converter and we make a little bit less power and a little bit less torque. Um, another thing to mention is this 19 and a half PSI. Um, that was a spike. So right here, you can see this little bump. That was right when it spiked to 19 and a half PSI. Um, it kind of tapered off after that, I'd say. It was closer to about 18 PSI, I guess you can say is the max um, boost. Um, but in relation to that, our turbo was the limiting factor here. Um, we had the boost controller kind of maxed out and this is all that this T3, T4 hybrid turbo could produce. Um, we kind of started out at around 18, 19 PSI, but as we went down and down to redline, it kind of ended at 16 PSI. So we were losing boost and we could have made a lot more power if the turbo could have kept up. So again, that's something we'll probably upgrade in the future, but I'm just going to enjoy the car for what it is. And if we take a look inside, um, I also, we hooked up the um, two-step so we couldn't get it to work for some reason on the day of the dyno, but I figured it out and it's working now. I just had to play around with a few things. Um, I don't have any video clips of it, but again, you guys will be getting some more video clips in the future with the driving, the sounds, the two-step, blah, 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 all that. Um, but yeah, just kind of wanted to fill you in on how the dyno went. It was a pretty good experience. The guy did a great job, Dyno Motorsports uh, in Toronto if any of you guys are interested in getting your car tuned by him um, but yeah I fully recommend this mega squirt system hope you guys kept up with all the videos I've been posting um, the wiring the fuel the ignition all of that um, all of it's been fine no issues it's been super reliable no leaks and uh, yeah thank you guys for following the build we're gonna have some more things coming for you this year I'm gonna have a few more surprises for the car but until then, guys, keep an eye out for those uh, video clips of the sound and the two-step, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.